Hello and happy fall, y'all. Welcome to my channel, Comfort and Joy with Lady Curry, and welcome back to my 31 Days of Fall series. So from the looks of the picture, you can see that I'm about to tackle some homemade applesauce. So you see here I have my apples. I have about six to seven apples. I think I added a couple more that was off camera. I have half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar. The recipe calls for water, but I'm going to use apple cider, one fourth cup of apple cider, and then I'm going to use one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of apple pie spice instead of just the cinnamon. I'm trying to pour as much fall apple flavor into this applesauce as possible because I want to use the applesauce for a few things, cakes and um, pancakes and things of that nature. So let's get started. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and just clear the decks a little bit so I can work. I'm going to go ahead and start peeling my apples. I have my peeler there and then um, you saw me just show you the rest of the tools, my measuring spoons, my measuring cup, and um, later on in the video you'll see me go grab my knife and my apple corer. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to just go and peel this, these uh, apples and um, get them ready to um, be processed down for my applesauce. So I'm going to go ahead and play some music and speed up the video so it won't be too long and let you enjoy watching me make homemade applesauce for the fall season. This is one of my favorite things, favorite activities to do, especially with the little lady. But this was earlier while she was in school. So we're going to do this multiple times, I'm sure. So she's not going to miss the second or third time probably. Before the fall is out, I would have done this at least two to three times. <laughs> so okay, guys, enjoy the music. Okay, so after I chopped up all of my apples, I just gave them a rough chop in medium-sized pieces because they're going to cook down. I'm dumping in my brown sugar, half cup brown sugar, half cup of white granulated sugar, and I'm also going in and adding my apple pie spice, a tablespoon and a half. You can um, lessen it or increase it depending on how many apples you have. I could have added more apples to my batch because one and a half tablespoons of 
apple pie spice was a lot. So now here I am adding my one quarter cup of apple cider. The recipe calls for water, but you can use water if you want or apple juice. Um, you can get creative if you want to do orange juice, any type of citrus as, um, citrus juice would be good. So now here you see all of the ingredients are dumped in over top of the apples. I'm going in now just to try to break that up, break the sugar up and get the apples coated some. Earlier I did sprinkle my apples with some lemon juice because I did not want my apples to start turning brown as they waited for the remaining apples to be dumped in. So I went ahead and just sprinkled them with lemon juice. Okay, so now we're at the point where we're just going to let the apples and the spices and the cider hang out and do what it's supposed to do. It's going to cook down. The apples are going to start getting soft and mushy and you're going to just break the whole thing down. The pectin will develop in the applesauce which will help thicken your, um, the pectin will develop in the apples which will help thicken the applesauce when it starts breaking down and turning into applesauce. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this simmer on like a, um, low to medium heat. I'm going to do uncovered because it is a lot of liquid in here right now and apples do release liquids especially when you are cooking them down. They're going to release a lot of liquids and I don't want a really soupy applesauce so I want to burn off or cook off some of that extra liquid and then get it um, I kind of um, condensed and concentrated so um, all of that flavor will go right back into those apples as they break down. Okay, so after about 20 minutes or so of cooking, I did not film me um, processing, blending the apples, breaking them down to a smoother texture. Um, I kind of over, for my taste, I over processed the apples. I like it a little bit chunkier than this, but I'm happy with it. Nevertheless, it's so tasty. As it cools off, it's going to thicken as well. So um, what I'm going to do is just, after I do a couple of my taste tests, I'm going to set it aside, let it cool off, and then I'm going to go ahead and refrigerate it and just let the spices kind of get in there and marry um, one another. I am squeezing more lemon juice in the applesauce because for my taste it was a little bit too sweet so what I will do is adjust that sugar measurement so it was one cup of sugar total half cup of brown half cup of white granulated but the next time I'm going to do um, probably a half a cup total Okay, so here she is, the finished product, the applesauce, the cinnamon or apple pie spiced applesauce. And here she is, the final reveal. She's cooling down, so I'm going to go ahead and let her sit and go all the way down to room temperature so I can then pop her in my fridge, cool her off, and we'll enjoy her throughout the week. I'm going to um, dump a couple of teaspoons in my um, oatmeal, in my pancake batter so I can have some apple pancakes. I also want to use my homemade apple sauce in my apple cake as well. I'm going to use some grated, freshly grated apples and I'll dump a few uh, tablespoons or like a quarter cup of this applesauce into that cake as well, just to get as much flavor as possible in all of my fall baked goods. I hope you guys are inspired to try your hand at some homemade baking. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and share this video if you like. And if you are not subscribed, please take the time to hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of the Comfort and Joy family. So I'm wishing you guys comfort and joy from my heart to yours.